Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a H&M haul. Um, I went a bit crazy in the sale um, but everyone loves a good sale because the pieces were just so cheap but such good quality. When I say a big haul this is what it came in. I don't know if you can see quite how big this is this is what it came in so yeah when i say i went in i really did go in um but i got some really nice pieces and i've tried it all on there was a couple of pieces that didn't fit so i will show you them but obviously i haven't tried them on because they didn't fit first thing i tried on was this dress so it's basically this like i'd say it's probably no it is white i'd say it's white so it's got like these spaghetti, spaghetti strap straps. It actually has adjustable straps, which I really like. A couple of the dresses had that, and I really like that. Um, and it's a full length, so it's a maxi dress. And it goes all the way down to the bottom. I'm not sure in terms of like length, because obviously it fitted me perfectly in terms of like a maxi. But... If you were taller than me, which is most people, I don't know, maybe it would cut off in a funny place. I'm not entirely sure on how it would look on someone taller than me. Um, but, obviously, it's worth giving it a go. Um, but I picked this one up in a size 14. Um, and it was actually really pretty. And I've never tried... I say I've never tried it. I haven't for a long time. I haven't tried on, like, maxi-length dresses. It's just not something that I usually go for i normally go for something like a that is shorter a lot of the time um so i thought i would just give it a go this one is was eight pounds like what and the quality is honestly stunning it's got it's got an underlayer it's nice and thick around here um yeah i can't really say anything wrong like anything bad about that especially for eight pounds like that's just insane to me and the underlayer pretty much goes all the way down it's so obviously you can see there in like little sections but the underlayer goes down to that one and there's the bottom so it's the right length you want underneath um so yeah really pleased with that one for eight pounds the next one i tried on was this little one which honestly was so cute so it's a little white dress again um there are quite a few white dresses you just can't go wrong with a white dress um they're just so pretty um and easy to wear i think personally so yeah so it's just this little white dress and it's more of a mini dress than it is like the maxi um but it's got this really nice detailing on it it's got the like pattern all the way down the front um, and then it cuts off just below, just on your waist and then comes out really floaty so it's nice and tight at the top but then it's floaty at the bottom and it's again got the spaghetti straps it doesn't have adjustable straps on this one though that's the only difference um, but again it's got underlayer it's got has it got an underlayer? yes it does it's got an underlayer so it's not see through um, which is perfect um, and the underlay goes all the way down. So, yeah, that one I got in a size 14 as well. Um, and that one was... That one was slightly more expensive, but again, not compared to some places. This one was £15, um, which I think actually for the quality and how it fitted, that's a really good price. So, another white dress again. Like I said, I've got quite a few. Um, this one I am absolutely in love with. So it's very much like the, if you've watched my Primark haul, if you haven't, go check it out. Um, where I got a couple of dresses in that and they were like nice and floaty with like the detail at the bottom, more tight at the top. Um, and th this is very similar to it, but it's more of, I'd say it's more of a dressier one. So you could wear this more dressed up or you could wear it during the day as well. But like, I think you'd struggle to 
maybe dress up the Primark ones because they are definitely casual ones whereas this one you can definitely dress up more um so it's got like I said it goes in tight at the top and then it's just floaty again at the bottom um this one doesn't have an underlayer and it is slightly see-through but I wear um when I tried it on I had on a beige um bodysuit on from Primark which by the way if i haven't already mentioned they are probably one of the best things i've ever bought i've got them in black and i've got them in nude and top tip which i learned from emily ratch who has youtube as well so check her out um i'm a size 12 14 she's a size 12 14 but the body suits that she has recommended which are amazing is size extra small which according to primark is size 6 to 8 and sounds ridiculous and like how would they fit but because they're that bit smaller they do actually suck you in more and you feel more supported so they are really really good um but anyway so i wore that underneath this and i think that like would cover you completely like you wouldn't feel like you, anyone could see anything um so yeah but it's got this what i like is it's got this really cute sleeve as well which just adds a bit more detail so yeah, I really like that one. Um, I got this in a size medium. And this one was £12. So, again, I don't think for the quality and how well it fitted, I don't think £12 is a lot at all. I think if you went to like somewhere like Zara, you'd end up paying like 30 quid or more for it. So, yeah, really, really tough with that one. Another one that I got. So this one is actually, it is too small for me. But I did try it on because all I did was I opened the top bit because it was too tight on my boobs. Um, so obviously it doesn't fit me properly but I thought I'd try it on anyway because it does still look quite cute with the buttons undone. Um, so I thought you could see it that way anyway. So it's this really cute floaty cream dress. And it comes down like that, got a nice frill at the bottom. And it's just really cute and frilly. Like I love the details on the sleeve or the straps. Um, and like I said, it's got the button up detail at the top. So obviously, if you were smaller chested than me, you could, the whole idea is that you have them done up. But I thought they still looked cute undone as well. Um, but they've just got the little button detailing here, um, which I thought was really sweet as well. Just really sweet. Like I could just, I could picture um, some of the YouTubers that I watch, like Georgia May. Um, she wears a lot of like pretty dresses with like cow cowboy boots cowgirl boots i don't know what they're called um and i just think this would look really sweet with that it's, just, it's definitely her vibe um but it's just so pretty i wish it did fit because i probably would have kept it um but yeah this one i got in a i did get in a size 14 so i was a bit surprised it didn't fit but sometimes sizing can be a bit off um, this one was £15 as well. A lot of these were like £15, around £15. But for a dress and the quality of it, like, you can't go wrong. Honestly, I'm amazed at how much I actually managed to get in the sale because obviously you think when stuff's that cheap in the sale, you just assume that there's not going to be like any sizes left like there might be the odd thing but actually i got a lot in my size yeah okay a couple of things didn't fit properly but they still had my size and everything which i was quite surprised at um so yeah i definitely say they have a lot to offer in terms of their sale as well and i quite like how it's done online because sometimes shopping in sales can be a pain in the bum but actually it wasn't that bad. I used the app and it's quite easy to use. So yes, that was the next one I got. I'll quickly just show you the couple of bits that didn't fit. So this is a midi skirt. Um, and it's got a really nice black and white pattern all over it. Um, just really basic, just a midi skirt. It does have a nice slit down the front, um, which just gives it that bit more shape and body to it when you wear it. I really really like this online and I'm really upset that it doesn't actually fit. Um, it is a size 14 so but you know sizing can change. That one 
it was only four pound like that is crazy like yeah okay it's not oh, i don't know i was about to say it's quite see-through but actually i can't see my fingers through it when i put my fingers like that so i think it would be all right and it's just like it's such a nice midi skirt um but yeah like i said it just doesn't fit it's got no elastic around the waist which is a bit annoying because i find sometimes they fit better but four pounds so the other thing that didn't oh the next thing that didn't fit was these bermuda shorts really really sweet just nice bermuda denim shorts really i really like the color of them the quality is great like they feel like levi's um so i can't fault that but obviously like i said they don't fit so that's annoying um i did get them in a 12 and i'm not entirely sure why i did that i think maybe i thought because my primark ones are 12 so that these would fit a bit baggier i'm not sure what my thought process was in that but so it's kind of a mess up on my side um but they were 15 pounds again and like if you're comparing these to like levi's honestly hardly any difference between these and levi's um obviously it's not got the patch on the back and they're not levi's but if you're looking for a levi dupe these are so nice yeah i, I just wish they fitted because they're just so nice so i'm gonna have to keep searching for a pair of Bermuda shorts because i think they're really nice and they stop because girls with bigger legs will know we get chub rub which is where your thighs obviously rub together so bermuda shorts are brilliant because they literally cover all that um so yeah i'm definitely gonna have to try and find myself a pair of them even though i'm not really sure whether we're going into autumn now or not who knows what the weather's doing it's hot again today um and sunny so who knows um another thing that didn't fit unfortunately was this jumpsuit um and i didn't actually to be honest expect it to be this stiff um i kind of saw it as more of like a comfy lounging around jumpsuit but it's quite rigid so obviously it didn't fit me this was a size 14 um but it's just nice stripes and because stripes are a funny one and i st a lot of larger people will know that stripes can be a bit hit or miss um as to whether or not they flatter you um but a lot of the time if you go for a downward stripe it's gonna flatter you and make you look smaller and more like aligned and stuff whereas if you go for a cross they can also make you look wider little tip for you so this obviously has the downward stripe but obviously it has a bit across there but that just breaks it up a bit i think um and it's just got nice long wide legs um i'm not sure i think it's meant to be cropped but obviously because i can get it on i'm not sure what length that actually is but i'm pretty sure it's meant to be cropped um but this one was this one was only eight pound it was originally 40 pound crikey and it's a linen blend as well so it is really nice quality um obviously it's just a shame that it didn't fit um otherwise i probably would have kept that one so this one um i didn't i did try on but i didn't film me trying it on um because it just looked yeah not good it was t it's too big but it's a really weird fit and really weird design so this is it's a wrap dress yeah it's a wrap dress and it's got this really nice like floral lacy pattern all over it so it is really really cute and online i thought that's really really sweet obviously it's got the wrap detail here and then it's i think it's like a long midi maxi sort of length again so it's a nice long one and it's got nice puff sleeves and i thought actually that would be really really cute i bought a large i think that was the only size they had left so i got a large and when i picked it up i thought that looks huge but i was putting it on and there's actually no there's no zips there's no like 
the wrap bit doesn't undo because I thought maybe the wrap bit would come apart so then you can just tie it as tight as you want. The wrap bit doesn't come apart but when I was trying to put it on, obviously I was putting it on over my head and it was really tight up here trying to pull it down. Obviously I know I've got bigger boobs but you know most girls who are buying size larges have bigger boobs so I'm trying to put it on. And I managed to like squeeze the underlayer down. It was like the underlayer was too small for it. So I was trying to squeeze the underlayer down, got that down. And then when I was sitting there, it looked massive on me. It was such a weird shape. I'm really not sure what they were thinking when they did this. Um, but I think if it had like a zip down the side or you could wrap it yourself, then it would be so much better because then you can pull it in as tight or as loose as you want. But it's more, it's easier to get it on and off. Because it was just a bit of a, because there's just so much fabric. Especially because it's so long as well. Like, it made it almost impossible for me to get it off. Um, but how much was that one? So I got it in a large, like I said. And this one, it was £15 again. It was originally £40. So, I mean, you can't complain about the discounts. Because the discounts have been incredible. But just, I really wasn't sure on the fit of that one. Another one that I did try on, so you will see me trying this one on, is this place, no, jumpsuit. So it's really nice nude colour. It's thin, but it's good quality. Like, it's not see-through. You feel, you don't feel like you're hanging out everywhere. It's a nice, really nice quality, but it would be nice and cool on hot days um so it's a i mean it fitted a funny length on me but i think from average height people it would be cropped but on me i have this thing where i buy something cropped and it ends up just like divorcing my ankles or marrying my knees but at a funny funny length so it only just goes up over my ankles it's really weird so if I keep this one, I would definitely want to, like, crop it up a little bit more. Um, but it's got this really nice rope uh, tie, which I think is really cute. Um, but it also has this little detail. So this is on the back. So this is the back. And it's got three different buttons so that you can adjust the length of the straps. And I tried it on in the middle. I probably could have done with tightening it up to the smallest one but actually i thought it was really sweet um yeah so it's got nice wide legs um and i got this one in a 14 and this one was nine pounds oh we're on to my last couple of bits now so this again white dress because do i ever wear anything different no so this has got spaghetti straps again and it does have the adjustable straps which i love um and it's just a really nice floaty airy dress it's like um it's not waffle but i'm not sure how to describe the fabric but it's just nice and cool and airy perfect for hot days um it's really comfy because obviously it's not tight um the only thing for me is that i ordered it in a large but I probably could have done with a medium because it was like from the front it looks fine but when I turn around it is definitely really baggy at the back you'll probably see it in the clip but I might get my mum to adjust it for me because I don't think this one was much at all £10 so for £10 I'm going to see if mum can adjust it for me because I do really like it and I would wear it a lot but it is just that bit too big so I probably could have done with a medium um but i'm pretty sure they didn't have it um but yeah it's really really nice um really nice quality again it doesn't have an underlayer but like i said i tried it on with the nude bodysuit and i couldn't see it underneath so i don't think it would be too much of an issue just probably couldn't wear like black pants but that's fine so yeah that's the next one and then last but not least this one i didn't love i'm not gonna lie i think it's actually made wrong as well i don't know whether it's just because the underdress is 
separate but obviously you know when they when you first buy something they're attached um and i don't know whether it was because it's been attached wrong and that's why the dress was didn't seem to like fit well um so i don't know whether it'd be different if i took it out properly and put it on separate but the idea of it is really really sweet so again it's got like the frills on it this is very much like i said earlier georgia may style with the cowgirl boots um and it's just nice and floaty it's a mini dress more of a mini dress got the puffy sleeves with the cuffs at the end um and it's a nice cream color and it's got the design in the middle the frills in the middle and it also has this really cute button at the top which i undid to try on but you could always do up um at the very top so that you can tie it at the top um and i just thought it was really really pretty um but like i said i don't know whether it's because i just hadn't taken the insert out properly or whether it has been made wrong i'm not sure um so i need to try this one on again and rethink about it but i got this one in a size 14 and this one was this one was only nine pounds so not expensive at all um and it was originally 30 pounds so the quality is really really good it's a nice really nice fabric nice and cool and floaty obviously it's got the under layer so you wouldn't have to worry about the fact that it is the actual dress itself is see-through so you'd have to wear the under layer but the idea of it i really really like so i just need to work out whether or not it was just because i hadn't taken the under layer out or whatever um but the last piece of clothing that i bought was actually what i'm wearing today um i tried these bits on this morning and fell in love with this straight away so i decided to wear it today um it is a boy like a boiler suit um jumpsuit type thing um but it's this really really nice um like nude color I really really like the way that these fit on me I think that they suit my shape really well um but the last few that I've got I got quite a few from Primark um a while back but because the ones I've got are denim they are quite thick um and obviously in this heat it's not ideal so they're better for like winter but this one the although it's although it is thicker than obviously like linen or like i don't know the floatier stuff that i've been showing you it's like a thin denim it's really hard to describe but it is definitely a lot cooler than the ones that i've had previously which is so much better for this weather um because the last thing i want to do is go out somewhere and get really really hot yeah so it's probably my favorite thing that i've bought at the lot um yeah really really happy with this you'll see it in the try on as well um now the last things that i picked up were actually accessories oh i forgot to say this jumpsuit was only is 10 pound it's either nine pound or 10 pound so amazing really like for the quality and everything else so yeah that one was really really good price so anyway the i picked up a couple of accessories um because they were just such a good price um so i picked up these two head scarves which are really really pretty i don't know how well whether this is focusing um so it's got the pale the pinks all in the top one it's got cream base and then it's also got this one at the bottom and i just think they actually look really expensive um they're nice and silky yeah i just think that they looked honestly really expensive but so cute as well um and actually because of the colors because they're quite they're more neutral colors i thought they would look better like with more stuff like i can wear them with more a range more of a range of things um so they were really cute and these were only two pounds so it's one pound each which i don't think you can even get that in primark i think they're more than a pound um and the quality is really really good so you really can't complain at two pounds i just had to pick them up um and then the last thing i picked up which i just fell in love with is a pair of shoes and 
they are these little khaki off i mean they're not i wouldn't say that they're khaki they're like a a muted khaki um but they're suede they've got a really small heel so they're so comfortable and what i liked is the the strap design i don't think i've really seen ones like this but basically they go like round your foot and then round the ankle and they've got a bit of elastic here which means that you can like pull them up without like hurting yourself um in shoes i'm either a three or a four um and i actually picked these up in a three and a half and they are the best fit i think i probably am a three and a half in heels but because obviously it's hard to get half sizes normally i just stick with three um but i really liked the fact that they did half sizes um they've got the square off at the bottom and what i like about these is they're not too square at the bottom because i know that that's a style which is very in at the moment but i'm not sure that they would suit my feet um whereas these are slightly more rounded so they're not as harsh um they're just honestly beautiful like falling in love with these and like i said the heel was perfect height for me um because i think like with these sort of heels they're more like sandals so you can either dress them up and like wear them on a night out or you could wear them during the day as like sandals and i just think that they are so pretty and they just fit me so nicely and they've got a bit cushioning in the bottom of them which is brilliant um yeah and like i said they were just suede but honestly love them so and they were a bargain they were six pounds like how good is that six pound for amazing quality this is definitely the sort of thing you'd pick up in zara and they'd be at least 20 quid thank you for watching the video getting this far um because i'm imagining this will probably be quite a long video because obviously i've got quite a bit um but i really hope that you liked some of the bits that i picked up um let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you are gonna go go and try and get any of it um yeah let me know your thoughts and thank you so much for watching um i'm trying to get back into the swing of it now like i said in my last video um so hopefully there'll be a few more i'm thinking of doing another haul maybe next week um because i quite enjoy doing these videos so because i'm a bit of a shopaholic <laughs> so um yeah i hope really hope you enjoyed the video um don't forget to like it because it honestly means so much when you like the videos um because it tells me whether or not you actually liked the video and whether i should do it again and also don't forget to subscribe um because that just means the world to me um i can't believe i'm over 100 now it's crazy um so thank you everyone who already has subscribed and thank you to anyone who does subscribe subscribe from now um Really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.